Well, what up, my dudes? Today I decided to let my wife pick anything she wanted, and I would make it. So this is what she chose. Hey, babe. Pick anything you want, and I'll make it for you to eat. Hmm. Korean marinated eggs. Okay. That's right, Korean marinated eggs, otherwise known as Mayak eggs. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Roast me in the comments below. So without further ado, let me show you how to make this. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. First, though, we got to soft boil some eggs. Now you can grab a pot like this and boil your eggs for six minutes at the room temperature or seven minutes if they're cold. Or if your wife has bought one of these egg cooker things, you can just use this instead. If you do not have a wife, you won't have one of these things. Put six eggs in your bowl or egg cooker thingy mabobber and turn it on. Or alternatively, bring it to a boil. When it's done, it will play you the song of its people and you are required by law to have a dance party. It doesn't play the song of its people for anybody, so you must dance, 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 dance. Oh yeah, get into it. Feel it. Shake it. Shake what your mama gave you. And then remember that you need to put your eggs into an ice bath almost immediately, otherwise they will keep on cooking. Now, I'm going to show you three different methods of peeling a soft-boiled egg. First one is to smack it on the counter, all around, rotating it, until you get spider-like patterns like this. Then you can either peel it underneath running water, or personally, I prefer to peel it inside the cold water ice bath. I find that it actually slides off a little better this way. Hold up your first egg. Sure, it ain't perfect, but you raised it, and you love it just the same. <laughs> But as with children, the second egg is going to turn out way better than the first one. Because you've had some practice. See? Look at that beautiful egg. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Now on to the second method. We're going to yeah. take this spoon and tap the outside of it lightly all the way around. And then insert the spoon underneath the eggshell. Ever so gingerly. Which is, for me, going to end up completely ruining this egg. Which is unfortunate. Now we have to sacrifice the egg. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. We can't have any ugly eggs like this. No. Sacrifice your egg oh. to your wife. Oh. Shh. Mm. Your hunger is over now. Be at peace. And then move on. This is the third method. I actually just used a hybrid of both because I preferred how the spoon made it crack. And then I put it underneath the water and peeled it by hand. This actually gave me the perfect egg. Look at that beautiful egg. Perfect. Now we're going to add half a cup of water to a bowl to start our marinade. Then we're going to add to that a half a cup of gluten-free soy sauce, if you're gluten intolerant like me. Otherwise, you can use normal soy sauce. In addition, you can also add an extra tablespoon of dark soy sauce for color if you're not gluten intolerant. Using a quarter cup of sugar, we're going to add that to the bowl. And then we're going to take our tiniest whisk that we own and just whisk this baby up. A whiskey dee, a whiskey do, a whiskey do da. And until it's all combined. Now we're going to move on to our aromatics. Grab yourself four cloves of garlic and just give them a nice rough chop until they look like this. Chop, 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 the chop, chop, chop. See? Now we're going to add that to our bowl. To our bowl. See? Like that. Look at that. That's nice garlic. That's flavor. For this next step, I recommend putting on some food safe gloves. You can find these on Amazon. That's because we are going to chop up three Thai chilies and two red chilies. Trust me, you want these gloves on because one time when I worked in a restaurant, I accidentally forgot to wear the gloves, went to the bathroom, and then I had to shove a whole carton of milk down my pants to get rid of the burn. Trust me, you don't want that. Anyway, you want your chilies to start to look like this. Just a nice little fine little chop. And then your camera's going to fall over. <laughs> yeah, camera fell over. Once your chilies look like this, remember that you forgot to mm. taste them for flavor and then go try them. Good. Which one is that? Thai chili? <laughs> Just don't rub your eyes, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's that one? Thai chili. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Think about the minute. Okay. <laughs> those spicy dance. Look at those moves. <laughs> Chili number two. Which one's that one? 
Is that a jalapeno? That one's like sweet. Mm. That's so bad. sweet chili? A little heat. Nope. It's like a sweet heat. That's good. Well, you... Now add your chilies to your marinade. Look at that delicious, delicious, spicy Very marinade. Very nice marinated egg. Should look like up. this when you're done. Next, we're going to cut the tips off and bottoms off some green onions. And then we're just going to give them a nice little fine dice. We're going to use the greens and the whites for this. Add them back to our marinade okay. once they're all chopped up. The eggs in the bowl and then you're done. Okay. Now, we're going to add about this much toasted test sesame seeds. About two tablespoons. And then about a tablespoon of sesame oil. You can use a teaspoon if you don't really like the flavor of this. That's fine. Then we're going to wing jingle that all together with our tiny whisk again. And then it should look something like this once you're done. Now we're going to take everything that we made in this marinade bowl and pour it over the eggs from earlier. As you can see, there's the one. Beautiful. The other ones that I peeled with a spoon. Gotta sink them more or not? Now we're going to cover this in okay, saran wrap or preferably an airtight container. You can test your seal by shaking it up a little bit. And then we're going to stick it in the fridge overnight. So we're going to let those eggs rest overnight or bare minimum 12 hours. And then we're going to pull them out tomorrow night for dinner. So I'll see you then. I gotta go to work and I gotta go to sleep. It's the next day, so we're going to take our eggs out of the refrigerator and then unwrap them on the counter. Make sure you give these eggs a nice, gentle little stir so we get everything that's been on the bottom. And then we're going to spoon these eggs over some piping hot white rice, making sure to add a little bit of marinade to each of these bowls. Something I did not mention before, you can actually use this marinade more than one day, assuming you don't dump the whole thing in there. So you can actually add more eggs to this afterwards. Now let's go ahead and cut open those egg yolks. Look how jammy those are. That is a beautiful cross-section. Delicious. Now, let's go to the wifey test. Alright, it's time for the wifey test. Yay, wifey test! What's your first impressions looking at it? Ooey gooey eggs. So creamy. Okay, go for it. Yay! Going for a scoop of rice first. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. How are the eggs? Very good. Alright guys, I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Look at that. That is delicious looking. I'm gonna try without the egg first, just marinating spicy peppers. Mmm. The heat really mellows out in the fridge. With the sugar and everything overnight. It gives the rice a really nice flavor. Now, unlike Elise, I'm going to go whole hog. And I'm just going to shove one whole half of an egg in my mouth. Mmm. Those are good. They're reminiscent of like a ramen egg. But they have like spice and a little bit of kick to them. You can also really taste the garlic in there. And that sesame oil really shines in on the back half. This is really good. Recommend these any day of the week. So I chopped up the eggs into this. And it really brings the flavor up. It is really good now. Just want to bring that back to y'all. Sorry. It's really tasty. Try this. This is really easy to make. Y'all can do this at home. Alright, so there you have it guys. Korean marinated eggs. Delicious salty treat with a little bit of a hint of spice. Uh, I will say it is a little bit salty, so if you're sensitive to your salt intake like my wife is, uh, use a low sodium soy sauce and you won't have that issue. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, if you can like, subscribe, and ring the bell, that would really help out the channel grow. And as always, toodles.